Hey guys. So I have this craft to do and I had this heart. I don't know when I got it. It was sometime last year or the year before. I'm not... So I have these. I figured I was going to cut these off because again, I'm not, I'm not a fan. And I don't know, here I guess. Hmm. There we go. So I'm going to end up painting this. Uh, I don't know, maybe black? I'm not sure. But I'm going to put it to the side for now until I know exactly what I'm doing with it. So I printed this out on cardstock, this craft cardstock, so that it had this color as a background. I did it on paper too, but it was just white. So what I want to do is kind of piece things on here. Um, I just want to, I don't know, I just want to like put pieces of it. So I'm going to just like cut some stuff and we're going to see how it fits. And I'm not going to keep it with sharp edges like this. Uh, I'll end up like tearing these, try and do the water thing. So, all right, uh, that's good. And of course I'm going to do this because <laughs> it doesn't look old enough to me. Got to wrinkle it up. This is uh, this is like a vintage look, and I will make it look even older. I'm gonna distress it. All right, I am gonna paint this um, because these are see-through, and you are gonna see this through it. The rest is not that big of a deal, but uh, I don't want to see those. And I'm just gonna randomly put them in here, so I'm I'm not sure where they're going. So I'm just gonna. I'm just going to paint it and I'm actually going to take this off first. So what I'm going to do is actually go with Java. This is brown. Um, I need to get more of this, but this is chalk paint. It, I'm using this because this is more of a slick surface, so I want this paint to stick. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint all of this. Doesn't matter that this came up with the thing because it's all going to be covered. You're not going to see it. All right, that should be good. I'm gonna dry it a little bit here. Okay, so now let's um, see where we're gonna place all of this. I don't know. <laughs> Just gonna start putting it down. Whatever hangs over the edge, that's fine because it is going to be cut off. So. And this is all going to get painted as well, so um, it doesn't matter that it's all white right now. So don't worry about that part. We're gonna we're gonna paint it all once it's done. So this takes a lot of Mod Podge. You just gotta keep going, get everything all soaked in it, and. Once I cut these edges off, I'll see the shape better and then can decide whether or not I want to add more, where I want to add it. So there's a lot of the brown here. So I think I'm going to bring some down here. I want to wash over this with the antiquing wax from Waverly. And to, I want to make it all more of a uniform color. I really just want different textures than I wanted, you know, the design of these. So cross your fingers that this works looks like it's pretty close in uh, color so yeah and I like that it's it's getting in the grooves of the wallpaper so all I'm trying to do is get this to be a uniform color I, do, I want everything to sort of blend. I don't want like stark white 
with the brown. I want it all to blend. I want darker areas, lighter areas, but ultimately it all needs to blend. And I am going to go over this again with my ink pad, probably. Because as we've talked about many times, it's, you know, you got to vary your colors. You got to add different layers of colors. Let's see, just, I want to add different things like that. So I'm going to pour. I'm going to emphasize the edges. I'll come in here with to the edges and emphasize those. This is drying now. It's, it's pretty much dry. I used the uh, blow dryer. So I'm going to add another layer um, with the uh, Waverly ink chalk paint. Um, I am going to try to use my um, ink pad, but I, I don't know if it's going to get what I want. Like in these areas here, the ink pad can't get down in there. So I can use it for, you know, on top of stuff to add more dimension. Eh, it's not even really working. It does a little bit on here, so that's good. I like getting the raised areas where I crinkle it. See, you can you can see the difference. I just love watching it like come alive to you know for adding all the layers to me, it just I love it. And definitely can get around the edges here. So it did a good job for this part. I don't want to cover it too much because I still want to see the design. All right, so that did a good job at the raised area. So I'm going to, I don't want to go crazy with it. So I'm just going to kind of pat it. And I think swirl it around. I want to emphasize where the joints are of these pieces. But I don't want it like in your face just want to like barely see it so what I'm using this is a baby wipe it helps take off the excess and blend at the same time all right see how that's blending not nice is it is it am I crazy is it just me <laughs> I love it so much. I just think it looks really, really good. I'm just adding it with, with almost a dry brush because I don't want, again, I don't want it like clumping. I don't want it really dark. I'm kind of just emphasizing where, like I said, the, the rips are, where these meet. the edges. I've really been kind of, I don't know, you guys have noticed in my last few um, videos, the things that I've made are kind of these colors. It's browns, ivory, black, that kind of stuff. It's just what I've been drawn to right now. And if you're a crafter, you understand what I'm talking about. It just, it is what it is. <laughs> It's, we go through like stages of what we what we feel like doing, what speaks to us, the colors, all of it. Yeah, what do we think, guys? I love it personally. So this is the one that the the sign that came off of this originally, and it, it is metal. So I'm gonna paint it, but I think I'm gonna do it in the red. I want to add that red touch in here and then um, put it here with a bow here. I'm using the Imperial. This is one of my favorite, favorite reds to use. Um, this is by uh, Folk Art 
home decor chalk paint from Hobby Lobby. So, and I'm just going to paint this. It's going to need a couple of coats. And there you have it guys, five coats later. Isn't that such a pretty red? I love it. It is like just one of my absolute favorite colors. It just dries so much darker than it looks in the in the bottle, which I love because the dark red is actually my favorite color. So that's gonna go here. And again, nothing is gonna get um, attached until I have it all in place and I know I like it where it's going. So right now what I'm going to do is I got to Mod Podge this to make sure it doesn't scratch off but then I'm going to make that bow. Okay so now what I'm going to do is start, I should probably cut these in half, um, making this bow. Now I have a lot of fabrics here different types of things so I'm just gonna start piling them on and see where it goes so this I am doing the classic X style that I really really love and we'll just see how it works I even have strings in here that uh, come off the fray when I when I rip things, it frays. I don't throw that away. I keep it. Uh, let's go back to this. Oh, did I forget one? I forgot one. And just gonna take it and tie it. This is definitely a thick one. And I know I've been making this bow a lot, and that's just because I love it. It's, it's my favorite bow to make. I just think it looks good on like pretty much every project. So, all right, so now we have that. So that will go, don't worry, I'm gonna cut that down. It's not done yet. So, and this is my sign. I am going to um, use my ink pad for this because that's really bright. I'm also gonna do it on there once I get it cut. So I'm just gonna do this. You go over the edges, the corners, all of this. So let's cut this down a bit and we're going to see how we like it. I don't think it needs to be all that much because this is a bigger project so it's it needs to be a little bit bigger than the other ones that I've made uh, because it needs to fit the project. So it's, it's not going to get cut all that much. Just more of making it uniform, kind of wanting it to sit in a circle. Okay, so I am going to put some rope around it. Kind of put it around to see what it would look like. It looks pretty good. And I'm literally doing it right on the edge. I'm not doing it uh, on the front part. I'm doing it right on the edge. Gives this a nice finished edge. All right, so the rope is on here. I think it looks pretty good. So what I'm doing now is taking the antique wax and I'm going around the edges of uh, the rope where it meets the heart. And that is so that it blends more. So it's, you know, not so new looking. I'm just kind of distressing it a little bit. And as like with all of this, where I went around all the edges to define them, I'm just doing the same thing. Makes it look like it's part of it and wasn't just like an add-on. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is use my trusty ink pad and I'm gonna just kinda dirty this up a little bit. Again, just so it matches the heart. We don't want the rope looking brand new and you know, the heart is completely distressed. Get that, so I'm gonna take the brown one and use this first to do this bow. You've seen me do this if you've watched the videos. 
and I just go through it and kind of smush it around. Some of the stuff in here is tea stained, some of it's not. Like this ticking is not. It's just the regular color, so it's too bright. It doesn't match the project. So I'm just going in here and darkening it up. That's much better. This is metal, so it gets hot. Might actually throw some E6000 on this. Because it's not, I mean, I think it just dried too fast. So let me, I'm going to put some E6000 on this and then re stick it. Because this glue just dried way too fast. So I'll put this on and then I'll do glue again, but that'll just be to tack it in place until this dries. Because again, I sell my stuff. Speaking of, you guys can find everything I make on here on my Etsy shop. And they're in my regular shop too here. Um, but if you don't live near me and you can't get to the shop, the Etsy shop's the next best thing. All right, so just gonna kind of tack it in a few places until the E6000 can dry. Make sure I've got that lined up properly. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and tack on this bow. All right, guys, I think I am gonna wing a uh, heart on here. And we're just gonna stick it in here or something. Do it like this. Make it a little bit sideways. I don't know. We're gonna see how good I'm at. I am at this. It's gonna be painted too, so it's okay. Well, it's not too bad. All right. So let's grab our red again. And I'm painting this before I scrunch it all up, so that I don't miss any spots. It's dry, so let's do it. Crumple it up. I just get in there, see it ripped? I don't care. No big deal. Just adds to it as far as I'm concerned. All right, so now we're gonna take the black. Get those edges. And the inside. Okay. Smoosh it around. Also do the brown. Ages the whole thing. I'm just gonna do the back anyway because you're gonna see it. There we go. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is a little bit more, and I'm actually going to sand this a little bit. I want to bring out that heart a little bit more. So by sanding, I can take off some of those raised edges. See that? Love it. All right, so let's glue this on. We're going to go under here. I don't know. Where do we want to go? I'm going to stick a button on here, though. All right. So let's thread this button. You guys know me. If 
to watch that I thread my buttons. All right, guys, that's it. It's done. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good night.